Hello, hello, welcome to Shady Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a auction bag. Hope everybody's doing great and had a wonderful weekend. We had a nice, relaxing weekend. Uh, so thank you, thank you for joining us today. If you haven't been here, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms online and also on YouTube. So I will give you prices today. If you see something you're interested in, simply send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. We'll send you an invoice. Shipping is $6 in the US under a pound, anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. Uh, this lot, was called Costume Stainless Shaver Compact. So let's straighten this out a little bit, scoot it over to the side and get started. First off, we'll start with this compact. Has a couple of scratches on it, gold tone, um, a glass uh, cabochon. It says it is from Flair Fifth Avenue. So this would probably be from the 60s, 50s, 60s. Uh, really nice. We have a uh, Gillette, new in box, never been used. Um, uh, razor. Isn't this cool? So you have stainless steel blades here, never opened. They still have the uh, plastic on it. Yeah, still has the plastic on it. And then this is the bottom of the razor, still has the cardboard. And then you just screw this on. And there you go, you have a little razor. Isn't that fabulous? I have sold a miniature of one of these before, tiny, tiny one, and it was like, the box was like so, it was tiny, but this one is like a normal size, so this is really cool, by Gillette, let's see if it says made and printed in the USA, the Gillette Company, very nice. And on this one, let's do, I see them online selling anywhere from 50, uh, a double edge blade. So I'm gonna say, let's do, let's do 35 if anybody's interested. Really cool. I love old things like that. Here we have, A leather box okay it says February sterling silver size 8 uh, genuine amethyst diamond accent said it was originally a hundred dollars so let's first off see if there's anything written inside it looks brand new not used but let's See if I see any markings. I do not. So let's see if it's real sterling. Feels very coated. I'm gonna have to try scratch again. Let's test the stone first. Okay, it is real amethyst. Um, these stones are small, so let me see if I can get right on it. It 
It looks like there is two diamonds. The rest of it is all metal. And it is diamonds. And they're tiny. There's one here and there's one here. And right here is um, some yellow. Um, and I think that might just be it's from the box and the um, foam on the bottom is yellow. I think this is going to be sterling silver as it says, um, amethyst, diamond. Um, however, it's got a coating on it, so I can't get a scratch on it. Um, so we're just going to say that it is sterling because it does definitely look it. Oh, there's a mark inside. Okay, it definitely says 925 Marsala. It's got the M and then the C, backward C. So, yes, that does tell us that it would be sterling silver because Marsala does sterling. They even do gold. Um, so nice. And it says it's a size eight. So it is more like an eight and a half. So let's see. So that is very pretty. So on this one, I'm going to say on the Marsala, um, Amethyst, and um, real diamonds, I'm gonna say let's do $45. Very nice. And it comes in its own box, so it would be beautiful for the holidays. Um, all you need to do, and I will send a cleaning cloth with it, and it will probably get off that yellow. Let's see real quick. So there's the yellow right there. And this is Sparkle Sparkle. Um, it's a really good jewelry cleaner. Just gonna spray it on there real quick. And there you go, it's gone. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely right where the foam is. And it might take, like most of it came off, it's just a light hint. So I'll clean it again. Um, off camera if somebody's interested, um, but really nice piece. Lovely. Next we have a pair of earrings. Um, I'm gonna guess they're cubic zirconia. They're marked. Let me look and see what it says. It says 925. And this is what they look like. Those are really nice. I'm sure these are cubic zirconia. Otherwise, I'm rich. Yes. Um, cubic zirconia with French wires. And on these, let's do, uh, as I said, 925. So on these, let's do $15. Really, really nice. Like so. So 15. Here we have um, a two tone ring. 
It's a dome and it's open um, work. This is stainless steel by Spikes. Um, the size on this is an eight and a quarter. And that's how much it stands up. It's two-tone gold and silver. Nice. So on this one, I'm just going to say, let's do um, $10. And this one, it's the front. Another one with the open work. Let's see if I can see a name somewhere. I don't. Let's test it real quick. No, it has copper in it. So on this one, let's get a size. So it is a five and a half. So I'm just gonna say, let's do, um, let's do $6 on that one. It's really heavy. Here, this one, let's see what, if this stone is anything. It must be a Jasper. Um, it is above um, the glass line right on the quartz line. Um, let's see. Another one that has copper in it. So on this one, let's get a size. It is a size seven. So on this one, I'm just gonna say it does have scratches right here. On this one, I'm just gonna say $9. Now these, um, it says stainless steel, really heavy chain, and then there's extra pieces to it like this, this, there's this. I think that's all the extra pieces. So this size, large lobster glass, is 16 inches but then there's an additional let's put these all together seven inches here to include in this to make it larger so um 16 um 21 23 inches in total. So if anybody's interested in the heavy um, stainless steel necklace, chain necklace, um, with all the extra pieces, I'm going to say let's just do $12. Next we have this frog. Um, green and gold and black. It's enamel on the green and black spots. I don't see a name. So on the little frog, I'm going to do just $6. Here we have another brooch. This one is a buffalo or bison. Um, I don't see a mark. It's a brooch. Super, super lightweight. It is not magnetic, super, super gold. Um, so I'm not gonna test it, uh, but I'm gonna say, let's do, let's do $5. Then we have 
a um, cubic zirconia uh, tennis bracelet. It does have a missing um, a crystal or cube uh, rhinestone missing right here. I oh, it does signed. It says. Napier. So on the craft Napier neck uh, bracelet, I'm just gonna say let's do let's do three dollars. Now let's do this one. Okay, let's not do that one. <laughs> let's do this one. Uh, let's see if we have a signature. I don't see a signature, but this is really cool. I like um, this design and it's lifted off. It's an open design that's separated from the underside. So that is a really cool look. It is magnetic. It is a size seven and three fourths. It does have scratches on the inside, so I'm just gonna say $5 for the silver tone bagel, bangle, not bagel, I'm not hungry. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have some earrings here that are pretty. Let's see if they have any s signatures. That is pretty, let's see if this is real or glass. It is a checkerboard cut on it. It is glass. These are glass also. Um, but that's a pretty purple prong set. I, let's see if there's any signature. I don't see anything right off. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is not. Let's see. No, it's got a brass undertone. Um, so on these, really pretty. I'm gonna say let's just do $6. And then we have another pair here. And they have those, um, I don't know why, I can never remember them. They're English bags, but I cannot remember the name of them. I'll put it in the description. But you close them like so. You lift up on the bar and it locks in. Let's test these. These are glass also. And I think they're just gold tone. But let's check. No, these are gonna be sterling. Okay, so they're Vermeil. Oh, there's a signature right there. It says 925 right on the bar. And on these sterling Vermeil um, glass, and they are faceted. So on these, I'm going to say let's just do uh, $12. Now we have another tennis bracelet, like so. Let me see if anything's missing. No. And I don't see any name. They're just glass.
and they do have a, a copper backing or base. So let's get you a size on these. This one rather. Has a fold over clasp. It's funny, I don't do a video for a few days and I'm like out of practice. I'm like, how do I do this? How do I measure this? So this is seven inches. So on this one, I'm just gonna say $8. And we have another bracelet. This one is a rope chain. It has a signature. It says 925 Dancraft. It is a um, really nice French rope. All right, let's test this over because I don't see the blue coming through. Let's get a different stone. I don't know why that one's just being strange. Just might need to clean it. <laughs> and there's your blue lightly coming through. I mean, lightly. But I mean, it does have a thick coating on it, it feels like. So on this one, I'm going to say, um, so it looks like it's marked in two places. Let's check this mark. Yeah, this mark says sterling also. So let me, it's got a roller clasp or spring ring clasp. And it is a size six and three fourths. Actually it's six and a half, yeah. So on this one, I'm gonna say just $10 um, since it's so small. Okay, on this one, we have a pink mother of pearl. It is on a um, articulating um, bale. Has this nice design on the edges with a scroll. It has a really nice chain um, I'm not sure what kind of chain this is. Let's say it's a box chain and it says 925 made in Italy. No, it says 925 Foss. Yes, made in Italy. Literally written out, made in Italy. The chain, which is a really nice chain, and it is a diamond cut box chain. It is 19 inches on a spring ring spring class, whatever you want to call it. I know some people are picky the way I <laughs> um, name clasp and stuff, but it's that one. And um, this mother of pearl um, needs um, just some oil into it. And I would simply use the oil of your hand. Sometimes they get dry. Um, and if you just handle them enough, you um, will get it is start looking much, much nicer. Uh, the pendant on this one is an inch and a half by an inch. 
and on this one, I'm going to say $25. This one is very unusual. It has markings all on the back, but I can't make them out. They are... I can't tell if it's a signature or a design. It has uh, an Asian mark here. And let's, it's adjustable. Let's test this one. It looks like it has brass in the bag. No, let's go back to this stone. Yeah, it has a lot of copper in the base. So on this one, it's just a silver tone. And I'm going to say, let's see, it's adjustable as I said. And it is about a seven and a half, the way it sits right now, but it does expand probably about an inch, I would say. Very heavy. So I'm gonna say, let's do, let's do 15 on this one. We have another tennis bracelet here. And this one has a really nice clasp. I don't see any signature. Let's see. It is um, cubic zirconia. And it also has a brass copper bag. It doesn't have any missing Rhinestones, it is a hidden clasp with a um, locking clasp on the so each side. But they need to be um, squeezed together because um, the locking clasp on the side are a little loose. And this is a size 7. So on this one, I'm just going to do $8. Then we have... This necklace, it has a cross and it has a lot of glue on it. And it looks like malachite on the sides. Um, it does have some um, flea bites. But I can't tell if it's it. I believe it's real malachite. It is a cable chain. Unmarked. It is magnetic. It is 18 inches with the cross of one inch by five eighths and an inch. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is real malachite or faux. The sides look extremely real and it is heavy but I'm not 100%, so I'm going to sell this as faux, and I'm just gonna say $6. Now we have this pair of earrings, which is a very pretty, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe this backing is Lucky Brand, and you could almost wear these as reversible, so there's the one side and this is the front side. This is uh, dyed halite. It is brass and these are really pretty. I'm gonna say let's do, let's do $7 and I'm almost 100% these are Lucky Brand. Here we have a ring. It says something I cannot read. 
It does say 925. It goes to aquamarine, but this is, if that's the case, this is definitely lab created aquamarine because generally they're not this blue. And uh, let's test it. It is not sterling, even though it's marked sterling, it isn't. Nothing is testing correctly for me today anyway. So, it is not magnetic, um, but it does test and it is pretty. So on this one, oh, let's give you a size. It is a size eight. So I'm going to say, let's just do $12. It is pretty. And here, let's see if there's anything missing. There is clear and pink stones inside. It has the uncast mark which is an older brand, even though Uncast is still made today. However, Uncast primarily does Disney um, jewelry. These are just glass. It is a very pretty ring. It is a size eight. I'm going to test it. It is not going away and it is not turning blue. So I'm just going to say it's plated with a go tone, a very pretty ring. So I'm gonna say just $10. This definitely test as uh, banded agate and you can see the bands in it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you there, all in here. It is a blue with a gold frame, a pretty piece. The gold is not magnetic. It is two inches by an inch and an eighth by about a quarter inch. So on this, I'm gonna say let's do $8. We do have another chain. Very small clasp, spring clasp. And it looks like it is a J, I'm gonna guess. Could be a T, I am not sure. And I do write in cursive. <laughs> It's a cubic zirconia. The chain is a really thin cable chain. I don't see a mark. Oh yes, there is a mark on the bale. And it says 925 and a logo I can't read. So let's test it all. That's the bail. That is the initial. And this is the chain.
and it's all sterling. The last one didn't come up very blue because it got fingernail polish in it. <laughs> So there's the end of my finger polish. So on this one, let's get a size of the chain. It is Vermeil Gold Tone. It is 18 inches. I'm gonna say $12. La the last pair of earrings we have are these. And they are faux Chanel, I guess that's the C is for. Um, they're definitely faux on the bag. Um, no bags. I can put silicone on these. And I'm just going to say, let's do um, $6 for these. And it is three sections. Uh, just a chain. This one is a screwdriver. And this one is a Phillips screwdriver. And in gold tone, and on this one, it is including the chain three and a half inches. So on this one, I'm going to say let's do $15. Okay, since that didn't take too long, I'm gonna do a quick bag of uh, another quick ba auction bag. This one is eight sterling rings. These have all already been tested. And as I said, it says eight sterling rings. And, uh, oh, let me show you what I have on today. Um, the same polish that I've been um, wearing for the last couple weeks. This is OPI um, lacquer, and it is Susie Needs a Locksmith. And then these are eight, two, four, no, there's six rings. They might have um, sold uh, part of the tray, and this is the remainder. Um, but to show you what rings I have on today, this is the uh, diamond and sterling ring I've been wearing. And this is an old ring that I have had forever. This was in my jewelry box. I was cleaning out my personal jewelry box. And um, this is 14 karat gold. And um, I have had this since high school. And in high school, it didn't fit um, as a mini ring. It fit my finger. <laughs> So let's see, we have the first one says, nine two five M E D A, I believe it is. These are cubic zirconia. I love um, how this ring does not meet up. Um, it kind of almost looks like dice, but it's not. There is um, cubic zirconia on top, on the sides, sides, sides. So pretty fabulous ring. This one is a size seven. And on this one, I'm going to do just, uh, because the auction tested these and I also tested these when I got them home. So we know they're sterling and we know they're cubic zirconia. So on these one, I'm going to say, let's just do $25. But that is a really cool ring. Did I just give you a size? Gosh, my, yeah, size seven. The next one, let's get that out of our way. This is a cool ring. However, it is well loved. Needs to be cleaned inside. It is a uh, Labradorite. You can see the blue every now and then. It has the Trinity or Celtic knot um, on the side. It is, I'm trying, I'm going to move the camera closer so you can see. 
it is really rough and I really can't tell if that was meant to be um, because it is even rough in here um, around the edges here um, on this side and even on the band it's a very um, rough ring and when I say rough I don't mean um, it looks like it was hammered intentionally almost uh, I'm going to zoom back out okay so this is small this is a size six and a half and on this one I'm going to say let's just do um, let me see if that labradoritis has lots of scratches and cracks in the labradorite so I am just going to say let's do $18 on it it is still you can still see the blue in it when you turn a very very cool ring as I said it's hammered and looks very cool and brutal um, but I'm just gonna say 18 because it's it I'm not sure if it's rough or meant to be rough just so you know that now this one is uh, I believe this is a mother of pearl and it has three leaves, very, very detailed leaves on each side. It is marked 925 on the inside and it has a lot of patina. It's also marked 9 R, I believe it says. And this is a size eight and a half. And on this one, I'm just gonna say, uh, really, really pretty. I'm gonna say, let's do $18 on that one also. Now these three are amber, okay? I'm gonna show you this one first because it has a big chunk out of it right here and some little nicks. Um, it also needs the oil off of your hand because it is dry, but it is really cool. It is probably, it's a European ring, probably from Poland. It is marked 925 on the outside. It is a size six and three fourths. And on this one, I mean, it's a really cool dome, but it does have that nick out of it. It is a cool design with the big chunky um, prongs. So on this one, I'm going to say $25. Now this one is a bypass ring. Also, it is dry, so it needs the oil off your hands. And this one needs to be cleaned. I can clean it before shipping. It's marked 925 on the inside. And this one is a size nine. Um, but it is a really cool bypass. Sterling silver amber ring. It is dry, needs oil from your finger. And I wouldn't do more than that. If you sit there and just rub your amber and get the oils off your skin into it, it will buff up just naturally from the oils of your fingers. So on this one, I'm going to do $25. And the last one I have is this one. This one is marked 925. And then I cannot read the rest of the mark. Also, this one is heavy, really cool um, setting on this. It's almost like a lace. Isn't that pretty? This is a size eight. And on this one, I'm going to do, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna do $40 on this one. That is nice. 
And that is all we have today. So please note that we are going to be doing on Thursday um, a live with Kristen D. If you look in the description area, there will be a link to her channel and that will take you to it and you can um, sign up to uh, be notified. It's from 7 to probably about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I'm a newbie at this, so she's taking pity on me and not doing a normal four-hour show. Thank you, thank you, Kristen. We appreciate you so much, not only for inviting us into her um, live show, but also for doing a little shorter, um, considering I'm uh, being a baby about it. <laughs> She's so accommodating. We really, really appreciate her so much. So I would love for you to come over and join us for as long as you can. That would be wonderful to see some friendly faces and encourage me because, um, as I said, I'm new at it and um, a little, little nervous. And I know uh, my wonderful subscribers are always so friendly and always so encouraging to me. And I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you have any questions, definitely send them over to me. On Wednesday, I will be doing a preview show so you'll see um, some of the pieces that will be included. Tell me in the comments what you thought of these pieces. Um, I have to say, I love the um, shaver. And um, of course, all the rings. I love rings. So thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.